may have wondered about the origin of the name Camaro. When asked, Chevrolet once said a Camaro was a small, vicious animal that eats Mustangs. The two classic cars would go on to share one of the longest and most intense rivalries in the automotive world. The original 1967 Camaro came equipped with a modest inline six-cylinder or a variety of V8 engines. Its battle with the Mustang led to a horsepower war, with engine performance steadily rising with each generation. For years, the Camaro and Mustang raced head-to-head -head in the Trans Am series. The upstart Camaro won the title in only its second year. Currently, the Camaro ZL1 holds a blistering lap time on the Nürburgring of 7 minutes 41.27 seconds, faster than many high-end European GTs and supercars. Skyline is Nissan's premium sports brand, but the line was not originally designed for racing. The original Skyline was a mid-size family model, the first Japanese car made in Europe. The Skyline made its racing debut in the 1960s, winning several Japanese Grand Prix races. The car's long wheelbase and low-grip tires made the Skyline one of the first popular drifting cars. In 1969, the Skyline debuted its high-end performance model, GTR. It would become a high-tech, high-horsepower juggernaut. The R32 dominated Group A racing, scoring 29 straight victories over four seasons. The car also won the Japanese Grand Touring Championship in 1993 and set an all-wheel drive drag racing world record. Every Ferrari is crafted with care, but there is a class that is a cut above the rest. Ferrari's top-of-the-line supercars are only for the elite owners. You have to be invited by Ferrari for even a chance at purchasing one. Once you do, you will experience unbridled racing technology. The pedigree of modern Ferrari supercars began with the 288 GTO, a powerhouse Group B car built before the classification had been banned. An immensely fast road-going Ferrari was so popular, the following Ferrari F40 continued the tradition of a street-legal racer. These machines feature the cream of automotive technology through the ages, like carbon fiber construction, ceramic brakes, paddle-style transmissions, and even band racing concepts like active aerodynamics. The La Ferrari incorporates a kinetic energy recovery driveline system, similar to modern hybrid race cars, pushing the limits of automotive technology and speed. KTM is known for making top-of-the-line off-road racing motorcycles that have dominated motocross in Europe for the past decade. Determined to branch out, the Austrian motorcycle manufacturer decided to try something unheard of in its field, designing a road-legal quad bike. With help from Audi engineers and Dallara, a chassis manufacturer best known for Formula 3 racing, the unorthodox team began work on their goal, combining the acceleration of a motorcycle with the driving dynamics of a car. The result was the Crossbow, a lightweight sports car reduced to the bare essentials. The Crossbow was an instant hit with car enthusiasts, winning Top Gear's Sports Car of the Year in 2008. The Crossbow also proved popular with the Race of Champions, the only race featuring the best drivers from different disciplines, including GT, NASCAR, and Formula One racing. The spiritual successor to the legendary AC Cobra, the Dodge Viper was designed as a 60s style race car with 90s technology. The idea was to put a huge engine, in this case a V10 Magnum usually found in pickup trucks, into a small sports car. The engine was so huge that the entire car had to be built around it. Its massive hood is the single most expensive American car part to replace. The 2013 Viper features the largest production car engine in the world at 8.4 liters. This massive power has propelled the Viper to victory on the racetrack. The Viper racing team has won at Le Mans three times, taking the top six spots in 1998 along the way. 
In 2011, a Viper ACRX set a Nürburgring class lap record of 7 minutes and 3 seconds.